You know, we all love our golf carts, but one complaint we have is the chargers. The chargers are big and bulky. Trying to lug that around, especially if you don't charge your cart in the same spot, is an issue. One of these monsters like this. If you hate lugging one of these around, we got a solution for you, so stay tuned. All right, like I said, we got a new solution to these battery chargers. This is the old battery charger that's original for our golf cart. It is a 2007 charger, still works good, but these things weigh 33 plus pounds in some situations, and ours is a 48 volt. Uh, this charges at 13 amps. Of course, you got your three, three prong style here with good size leads and everything, but from the makers of, uh, from Craftsman Golf, the makers of this charger here, this is a waterproof, lightweight charger. This thing only weighs six pounds, and it, you could charge two different ways. You can charge the regular, just plug this into your onboard charger, or you can wire it direct in, so that way you ain't gotta worry about that in the front. You just plug your cord that you're gonna have hanging and put, put that on, because this is an onboard charger. If you gotta place, place the mount on your cart, this would be great. You mount it like, behind, I think for us, we're gonna do it between the front and back seat somewhere, because that seems like a good spot. There's not much room underneath where the batteries are. So we're gonna to try to find a good spot for it to mount it. But you can mount it or not, it doesn't matter. You can mount it on a wall if you want, but you can have the onboard just plug in charge. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, let's get this one out of the way. I'll show you what we got. All right, let's just open the box here. In the box, pretty simple. Like I said, it is waterproof. It has an IP67 rating, so it can take a good amount of water. Here is the traditional three prong plug that goes in for our, our cart, which is a club car DS 48 volt. So this is a typical plug for that. And here's the other plug that you can have where you can wire it directly to the batteries, which is the way we'd like to do it. We'll see how it looks when we get there. And then these are your two, your two leads, your main plug that you plug in for uh, power, which this, I believe this one is uh, 16 feet long. So you'll have plenty of space for that. And then this, this is it. This is all it is. Nice waterproof charger. It has a nice aluminum case. Got the cooling fins. You got the fan on the outside, which you can get wet. The, the cords look pretty good. It's got caps on it if, when you're not having it plugged in stored. Uh, here's the temperature sensor right here. And it's got a good flexible silicone cord on it for that. Obviously, as you can see with this unit, the, the benefit to this is the form factor. It's lightweight being only six pounds and it's smaller than the other chargers. So it makes it easy to mount on board. You got the four mounting holes in each corner to mount it. Um, I would probably mount it with maybe, if you can, maybe some kind of rubber feet. I mean, you don't have to, but if you can. Uh, like I mentioned, it does have the temp sensor. This is for the charger over temp protection. That's why it's mounted to the cord if it's getting too much draw, because this one is 15 amp. That big one is only 13 amps. So this does a couple amps more, which should charge you up faster. And in the box was also your user's manual. It tells you all about it. Uh, and then uh, tells you a little more about it, all the parameters on it and everything like that. So with all that being said, like I said, there's not much to show you here. It's a nice, I mean, I love the way it looks. The red is pretty cool. Uh, and on this, let me see the spot right here. Let's see if you guys can see that, get you guys closer. Right here, there's an indicator light that'll tell you what the charge status is. And on the back, the back also gives you what the lights mean. So you can see red, green, flash waiting mode and no load, red flash, low charging, all that stuff. So you can read all those, it'll tell you all about that. The cool thing is about this having the five stage smart charging, it also has the trickle charge. So you can leave it plugged in. It'll maintain your battery. I lost my instruction book. It'll maintain your battery the whole time. Besides maintaining your battery there with the trickle charge, leaving it in if you, you got to worry about overcooking your batteries. It also has a two-year warranty on this, so they stand behind that. If you have any issues, you contact them. They'll hook you up. Uh, so we want to give a shout-out to Craftsman Golf for sending us this for review. Uh, we will put it to use on the cart, let you guys know how it goes. But right now, let's get this over to the cart, see where we can mount it and get it hooked up so you can see how easy it is to hook up. Like I said, we're going to try the direct route with just hooking it directly to the batteries. So that way we don't have to plug into the front, which would be nice. We can eliminate that cord at least. And then um, this can just sit under there with the cap on it most of the time until you're ready to charge it. And then you can just uh, plug it.
plug this into here, this into the wall. You're all set. So let's go over here to the cart, see where we're going to mount this thing. All right, we are under the seat here of our golf cart. And as you can see, we have our four Trojan batteries and they're hooked up in a series. So on this side, we have our positive and on this side, we have the negative. And that's where these two wires are going to have to go. You can see positive, that's going to have to go over there, negative over here. But you can see it doesn't reach in our setup. So what we're going to have to do is cut one of these and then add a little add a little to it. We have solid copper wire here. We already have an eyelet on it, works perfect. We're just going to cut this, join this on there, get the length we need. That way we can do direct hook up to the batteries instead of having to plug into the front. So, And also we decided to take our charger, we're going to mount it to the bottom of the seat. Uh, you can see it, once it closes, it'll have the gap. That way it'll it'd be nice, something nice to mount it to being the, the new wood here we have. And then uh, when we open the seat, the lights here that tells us the status will be visible when we open the seat. So that'll be nice to see. So let's go add some wire to one of these on here and then uh, we'll get this baby hooked up. All right, we got our wire lengthened here. We just cut the end off the brown one, which it was marked positive. You can see we soldered it together and put marine grade heat shrink too, which is waterproof. And then this already, we already have one with an eyelet on it and we marked it positive, which we used red for, typically for us it's positive is red and negative is black. So we did that. So what we're gonna do is hook our negative over here to this battery. Uh, and then we're going to hook our positive over on that side. So we'll get this loosened up. For most of you, if your batteries are closer, it's not gonna take that long to hook up because you're gonna have your batteries closer, but ours happen to be laying this way, but it's not too hard to lengthen it. Uh, maybe a note to Craftsman there, Craftsman Golf, if they could extend this, maybe make this a little longer for that stretch, that would be nice. That way we don't have to modify them ourselves. And then we're going to take this one and put it over here onto the positive somewhere. And then we'll try to route this wire to make it as neat as possible under here because we have wires for the underglow lights and all kinds of stuff. So we're going to hook this up into this spot here, probably from that side. That looks pretty good. We'll get this side done here. And that's all it's going to be for pretty much for hooking it up to the batteries direct. There we go. And then like I said, we're just going to mount ours to the bottom of the seat. It seems to work for us in that position. So we're going to go find four stainless steel screws to put in here so they don't poke all the way through, but enough to mount it to here. And then we can, then you could see, we just have this plug here, which is going to be this end down here. These two will come together. And then you, all you have is your big one, which is you're going to coil out and plug into the wall and all that, uh, and you'll be set to go. So let me go find some screws for that. All right, we got our... Uh, we got our screws, we're just mounting it right here. We already checked for clearance when we close it, so it falls right between this gap here, which is perfect for us. And then, like I said, our cords will have the space also. We're just gonna finish putting these screws in. We got four stainless, they're an inch long for us. Got one more on this side, and then we will show you how to plug this in and get it hooked up. All right, now that we got our charger mounted under here where we like it, like I said on top, you guys can't see it, but we'll give you a closer look. Has the lights here. So we can see that when we lift up the seat right here, it'd be perfect. So we're coming over here to the plug off of the charger. And since we got this wire directly to the battery, we can just hook this right up, right up to this here. It's only going to fit one way and it's got the lockdown plugs. Keep it watertight. Make sure all your other ones are tight here. It'll also be good right here. And it gives us the length we need to route it and hide it right there. So that works perfect for us. Now all you have is your main power cord, which you can keep just sitting right here. And then when you need to plug it into the wall, you can just pull it out, plug it in, take the length you need or whatever, keep it coiled up here. Or we have this gap here we can keep it coiled up in. We might do that just to keep it off of the battery uh, so we don't get no acid on it or anything like that. So let's plug this in and see what the lights are going to do. I know this is pretty much fully charged. We had it on charge, but the lights should still indicate what's going on. So let's see see if this will reach where we got it to go. I mean, it's a 16 foot cord, but we are a little ways from the plug. If not, we'll just grab an extension cord. All right, let me back up. Yep. 
All right, you can see our light. We got a flashing red, which means it's charging. And down here, you can see the fan, it was well, maybe you can hear it. The fan is running. And that's the nice thing about having it down here. We got a nice clear spot for the fan. So we have the flashing red, which means it's charged, and then solid green, which, which will mean it's charged. And, and then uh, there's a flashing that it does for trickle also. All right, like I mentioned, with the blinking red, that indicates that it's a low charging, because these are almost fully charged, I would say. So you're getting that low charge, which is less than 80%. And then you got the yellow, you'll have a yellow flash, which is normal charging. If we were more dead, it would probably flash yellow. And then you have the green flash when it flashes green, which means it's in the trickle mode. So everything's charged, it's just maintaining your batteries. And then green on, green fully on, it's fully charged at that point. And then you could get a uh, red green flash, which is the waiting mode or no load. So right now everything's hooked up. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Like I said, the form factor being that small and lightweight and out of the way is a bonus. So. I'm liking it. Uh, only, th only thing I wish I had was a little longer leads on that direct to the battery wire, but that was an easy fix for us to put one to lengthen that. And now it's all hooked up. You might have another location in your cart to mount this charger, but for us, being that we were going to put it between the front and the back seat, but we got a plastic piece here. We didn't think that was solid enough. Um, and then there's really no room in here to mount it. So this gap here was a perfect one. We also have our converter down there, convert to the 12 volts for the lights. So this fits right down in that gap and it, everything works great right there. So uh, we're thinking it's gonna be a good setup for us. We'll see how it goes, but we're loving the size and everything about it. So great little charger. Well, there it is. That's a nice one to have installed. Uh, once again, thanks to Craftsman Golf for sending this to us to try out. Uh, when we get down lower, we're gonna plug it in, see what the lights do, see how well it charges. It might charge a little faster being this 15 amp. Uh, and the lightweight is awesome. So everything's on board. We just pull the plug, plug it into an outlet, then we're done. So it couldn't be an easier install. If you had to modify your wire like us, again, it took us all maybe five minutes to do that. We did have the wire and everything here to do it, but five minutes. Uh, if one one uh, issue I see so far is, like I said, that could be a little bit longer to, to span the width of a golf cart. That way, if your batteries are like ours, then you can uh, get it... <laughs> Uh, connected without having to modify but other than that so far it's working pretty good the spot worked perfectly for us where it's at and uh but on the back of the charger is what the it's like a little key of what the lights mean um ours is against the thing so we can't see that key but the instruction book or the user's manual does have what the lights mean you can refer to the book or you can write them next to where you mount your charger if you need to reference them or something but uh it went up pretty easy if you guys are interested in one of these i'll leave a link to them down below uh, they also have other golf components that you could use. I mean, we use a couple other things of theirs. Um, even our scorecard book is from Craftsman Golf. We have that. Uh, I think we have some, do we have head covers from them? Yeah, I think we have our uh, head covers, some of them from them too. They look pretty good. So if you guys are interested, check them out, see what they got for you. Um, if you haven't done so already, please take a minute to hit that subscribe button. Help us get out there. We notice a lot of you guys aren't subscribed. Just takes a second. doesn't affect you or in any way just please hit the subscribe button don't forget the thumbs up so next know the next time we post a video and until next time guys try something new